Hey everybody, Vance from FishingWithVance.com. Today's the day where we're gonna build the utility table for the Pelican Bass Raider. It's table number three, 3.0, and the theme of the day for this table is light. We wanna make this table as light as we can. It's gonna be for primarily for, for uh, Catter's new Pelican Bass Raider 10E. Sorry about my, uh, my uh, fan was on there, but we got a bunch of stuff out here. We're in the, the Vance's garage today. I got the High Life with me today, so I'm pretty pumped up about that. It's Miller Mod time. We're going to build this table, and like I said, we're going to make it as light as we can, but maximum utility. So we'll be right back to you with what we're going to do, how we're going to keep this thing lighter, add probably some more pole holders, all kind of stuff. And uh, we'll be right back to you on fishingwithvance.com. All right, everybody. Welcome back to fishingwithvance.com. Excited to have you today. As Vance has already let you know, we are working on a new table mod today. So hopefully you guys have seen all the previous videos that we've had where we have made these tables, modified them, we've gotten them all uh, flex sealed up, etc., etc. So we need a new table for Catter's boat. So Catter has a Pelican 10E and we don't have a table for that yet. So we wanted to build him a new table and what the theme is for this table is that we gotta go light, and we gotta go fast. What we learned with some of those other tables that we made, especially on Vance's original boat, is that it was basically putting an aircraft carrier on another aircraft carrier. The table was awesome, it serves a purpose, it does a great job, but that thing is heavy. So what we want to do with this table is that we want to go light and we want to go fast. So what we did is that we still used our piece of plywood. This is a four foot by two foot piece of uh, birch plywood. However, this is only a half inch thick. The other one that we used on the previous boats, three quarter inch thick. The other thing then that we wanted to do is for a trim around the outside, we had basically used either half inch or three quarter inch board then going around to make sure that we had a nice big fat border so nothing could get off. One of the things that we learned is that we didn't really need that, that just added weight. So basically what we found was a slat board, found this, Vance had this laying around, so we're gonna be able to repurpose this. We're gonna use this as our border. Obviously this is really light, so there's no weight to that at all. Then we'll have our magnetic strips. We'll use that as part of the border as well and put that on there. So that will definitely help to decrease the overall weight of the table. The other thing then that we want to do is obviously we never have enough poles while we're out in the water. So if we have two guys now out in the water, we're going to have four on this side, four on this side, and then one in the hand. So actually you could have eight within uh, each guy with one rod. So you can have 10 rods out on the boat, which probably is overkill, but we love it and we're gonna do it anyways. So we're gonna put our pole holders on here, which hopefully again, you guys have seen in the previous videos. We got some inch and a half PVC. We got some of these closet rod holders. We're gonna put those two guys together. And then we got these PVC reducers, which then we'll put those on top. And as you can see here, we'll notch those out so that that pole can fit right down in there your handle will come out on this side and we'll probably have those so that we'll kick those on the outside so that your handles out here so what that's going to enable us to do four four one in the hand and then this is all going to be wide open in here you can put your uh, bag in here depending you know there are plano bags different things like that you can have your miscellaneous electronics obviously everybody has a phone on them nowadays uh, you can put some food out here you know whatever you're going to be munching on out of the boat basically this is all going to be wide open so you can do whatever you want to do plus it's going to be light and it's going to be fast it's going to be really easy to get this on and off the boat for traveling purposes getting that boat up out of the water whatever you have going on so stay tuned we're going to be making this thing right now we'll give you the step-by-step -step process and we'll see how this thing goes so fishingwithvance.com all right everybody so we wanted to show you real quick then how we're going to do the attachment with our seat bracket so we have a bunch of these seat brackets. We've got these off of Pelican. You can get these uh, extra just by themselves. And then they will come with the hardware then that you're gonna need to mount these either to your standard seats or then with what we're doing with the, uh, the table one. So basically what you gotta do is that you gotta get this centered and then you're gonna do your measurements here to be able to drill your holes to then use your aluminum brackets here to put your chair bracket on so you guys can figure out how to do the measurements there's really no exact uh, right or wrong way basically you center this 
it's five and a quarter inches wide so we go to five and a half inches so that we have enough room then to be able to put our brackets on we're going to be using a quarter inch drill bit to drill our holes because that's what size that our bolts are we'll put those down through there and then depending on maybe what you have lying around you're going to need somewhere in that uh, neighborhood of about a two inch bolt and what we're going to use is a carriage bolt because it has the rounded top on it so then you don't have a, like a hex head or anything like that so then if you are sliding anything like bags uh, maybe bags of plastic uh, you know your book bag your plano bag whatever you got it'll just slide right over that on top uh, usually not an issue especially once mance gets done uh, plastering it all over with the flex seal uh, which then just makes it really nice you don't have to worry about getting hung up on anything or uh, anything like that but that's basically what you do here you get this all centered you get your uh, dimensions and your measurements in we're going to go ahead we're going to drill these guys out and then we're going to put this thing together Okay, now we're going to put some of our washers on there. So you can use a couple different washers if you want. We're going to go a little bit overkill. So you got your standard washers, you got your lock washers, which that's what we're going to use. And then you got your locking nuts. So technically, if you had one of these, you could use a regular washer. You don't need to do double locking, but we got them, so we're going to use it. It's a little bit overkill, but that's all right. Ain't going to hurt anything. So. Just put these guys on there. Get these guys going. And then what we'll do, and one of the things that we found with this is that obviously we're working with aluminum. A little bit different than working with your regular metal, obviously. So you have the ability, as what we like to say, to really Popeye this what will happen then you end up bending this whole entire thing so sometimes less is more you want to get this good and tight you don't really have to he-man it too much because this is going to be tight this is obviously going to be pretty light too so it's not like we got a lot of weight issues so we just want to make sure that this is secure don't overdo it because you're working with the aluminum so So we got our brackets on, pretty simple, nothing too complicated. Again, drilled the holes, put our carriage bolts through, uh, lock washer, you got your lock nuts, everything is all good to go here. We tightened them up, and like we said, we don't want to go too tight. Obviously we're not dealing with a lot of wood here, so um, you don't want to be pulling that uh, the head of that bolt through, but you want to make sure that you do it enough in order to suck those down so that they're flush. Again, so that if you have a Plano bag or something like that, you're not getting caught on it like you would like a regular, say, a hex head or something like that. Now, the great thing about this mod so far, I'm going to be able to tell you right now, this is tight, it's secure, it's going to work, but here's the thing. Wow, is that light compared to that other table where, I mean, we would have to two-man that other table. So, this is uh, promising already. I'm loving this. All right, guys, so we got our trim or our border whatever you want to call it we got that cut here for our first piece obviously this stuff is real thin uh, which is exactly what we want so we got to be a little bit careful now whenever we go to attach this so we're going to have to drill some pilot holes and then we're going to use some screws uh, which I call skirt screws that's not the name of them but it's these guys that have the well they call them skirt screws because it looks like they got a skirt on them these guys hmm. that then will prevent this from hopefully splitting uh, because that screw is not going to be able to get all the way down in there so we'll try this out we'll drill some pilots we'll put those guys in there and we will see what we got let's do it to the table build for the Pelican Bass Raider 10E. So, as you see, 
we have our border on, which I'm not really sure what you call this. I just call this slat board. This is basically what it is. Nothing too fancy about it. Trim, whatever you want to call it. Vance had this laying around, so we were able to repurpose this so we didn't have to purchase this, which is always a great thing. So we got that around the outside. We got our magnetic holders here for uh, miscellaneous tools, pliers, things like that. We got them in with our uh, lathe screws, skirt screws, if that's what you want to call it. But the test that I will redo is there's that on there. But more importantly, oh yeah, very light. That's going to be great. So we are still sticking with light and fast, and we are on track. So we got that down. Let's move on to the pole holder. All right, guys. So. We're getting ready to move on to the pole holders then for our table for catter. So we just want to give you guys a quick once over on what these are. Pretty simple. There's no magic here or anything like that. What we got going on, this is what's known as a closet rod holder. So as you can see, you got your three holes. That rod would fit on there, get screwed in, and then this would go to the side of your closet wall with your nice big long rod going across there. So what we figured is that we'll take that you're going to have your inch and a half PVC. We slam that down on there, and then we're going to put one of our skirt screws or lathe screw. Slam it. We're going to put one of those guys on there. That's a half inch. That's going to go through there, and that's going to secure that to that. Then, whenever we originally did this, obviously you can see that's not very big there. So whenever Vance was in panic mode, he's trying to fight a fish or whatever, swap out his poles. It's not the easiest thing to be able to put that down in there. Sometimes you miss and it just becomes a pain in the ass. So we figured out one day, why don't we make ourselves a little bit of a bigger hole without actually increasing the size of the PVC, thus increasing the weight. So we got these reducers and then you get yourself a Dremel tool and you notch this out so that the handle of your reel will fit down in there. And then that keeps that uh, rod and reel from just spinning all around if you were to just use this. So then what we're gonna do we are going to apply this to this and so that we don't have a screw in there that might hit that uh, rod while you're getting it in and out and damage that we're going to use some good old-fashioned super glue we'll put a couple beads of that around there we'll put that on there and then i'm going to slam that bad boy home on there and then you're done your next step then take this you got your three holes there we'll screw this bad boy down on the table so stay tuned for that All right guys, quick update with the table here. So we went ahead and we got our rod holders all assembled and ready to go. So as you already saw, closet holder, inch and a half PVC, reducer, screwed together, super glue then up here. Pounded that thing down on there. We got our notches cut out. This isn't the prettiest thing, but again, we just want to make sure then that the handle on the, uh, on the reel is going to be out and that's going to keep that thing from slopping all around. As you can see how we have these guys positioned here then, we're going to have four and four. We've got the notches are going to be on the outside. That's going to keep the handles out here, out of the way. They, those won't be able to spin around. So now what we got to do is that we got to fasten these guys down to the table. We're going to use our three quarter skirt screws. We're going to put those down in there and then we will almost be done with the table. So stay tuned. All right, everybody, welcome back to the finished build here for the table for the Pelican Bass Raider 10E. So hopefully as you guys have been following along, we just got our pole holders on, uh, inch and a half PVC with our reducers up here with the notches cut out for the handles. So that's actually going to complete this. Like we said in the beginning, we're going to keep this thing light, we're going to keep it fast. That was the whole purpose of this. We just weighed this table. It came in at 23 pounds, which we're really, really happy with. 
versus our older beast. Who knows how much that thing weighs, but uh, we you can pick this thing up. Very light. Uh, it's going to be easy to maneuver, get it in and out of the boat, which is exactly what we're looking for. So, quick overview. Birch plywood, the, uh, the strips, the magnetic strips, PVC, pole holders. There you got it. Lean and mean. So, let us know what you guys think about this. If you haven't seen our other videos with our mods, especially with the tables, anything like that, make sure you go back check those out. You can see then how we made the other tables and what they're all about. And then stay tuned because we're going to have some more mods on some of these tables. Vance and I have been kicking around some ideas on what we got to do to perhaps make that older table a little bit more functional, a little bit more lightweight, and a little bit easier to handle, especially getting in and out of the water. So stay tuned for that. We appreciate you guys watching. As always, fishingwithvance.com.